and passion towards God. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, today we are commemorating Palm Sunday along with the Holy Mother Church. Palm Sunday reminds of us the purpose of Jesus, that Jesus has set his face towards Jerusalem and his face will not be turned away from the focus. And perhaps whenever we celebrate Palm Sunday, three important imageries come to our minds. The first imagery, Jesus sitting on a donkey, symbolizing that Jesus is the king of the universe and a prince of peace. The second imagery, people singing Hosanna, symbolizing that people call God for their painful and sorrowful movements and moments to be taken away and joy and happiness to be given to them. And the third imagery, people spreading palms and waving palms, symbolizing the warmth and the welcoming attitude towards a king who is victorious. And also, this Palm Sunday is called as Passion Sunday because of the passion that Jesus is experiencing. And altogether, today's readings invite each one of us to understand how we can move towards the focus of our life that is God, like Jesus. Therefore, today I would like to share with you three points of reflection. The first point of reflection, perseverance. My dear brothers and sisters, Pope Francis very beautifully says, Perseverance is the ability to support, to remain faithful, even when the weight becomes too heavy, unsustainable, or at times tempted negatively to judge or abandon everything and everyone. Persistence is a continued effort without giving up or moving towards a task or a project. Persistence helps us to move towards the focus of life and that's what is perseverance. At times perseverance is severe but be for sure even in that severity there is a surety of hope, joy, peace and prosperity because perseverance gives satisfaction. And that's what we see in the first reading from prophet Isaiah, wherein he says that I have given my body to those who strike me, that I have given my beard to those who pull me, and I have not refused to show my face to people those who rebuke me and spit on me, because I believe that God will support me and therefore I will not be put into disgrace or shame. Yes, prophet Isaiah realizes that perseverance will make his life move towards the goal of life, that is God. Today, most of us do not have this attitude or virtue of perseverance. We feel that perseverance is severe, hard or difficult. At times, we feel that perseverance is not worth doing it, or we feel that it is boredom. But remember, when we have this virtue of perseverance, we will be able to move towards the focus of life. Therefore, let's pray. Like Jesus, who persevered in his effort to walk towards God, let's also walk towards God perseveringly. The second point of reflection is patience. Patience is the ability or the capacity to accept or to tolerate any delay, difficulty, failures or oppositions without anguish or anger. It gives us to work serenely and calmly without any frustration. That's why perhaps Pope Francis says, patience is not a sign of weakness, rather it is the strength of the spirit. And that's what we see in the second reading from St. Paul's letter to Philippians. And he says, Jesus, although he was in the form of a God, he did not count equality with God. He humbled himself as a servant and appeared before us as a human being and died on the cross. And therefore, God has exalted him and glorified him. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. This passage speaks of the humility of Jesus. But I would like to share with you, even in the humbling self of Jesus, how he was patient to accept the human form as a servant 
and dying on a cross for all of us. Today, most of us have this difficulty of being patient. We become impatient when our ego is hurt. We become impatient when somebody else does other than us, better than us. We become impatient when things go wrong. We become impatient when things do not work as we want. But Jesus makes us understand that patience will pave way towards happier and joyful living, provided we become patient. So let's pray that like Jesus, who was patient enough to humble himself, that we also become patient to walk towards life. Because the life that we live and lead at times, it's not without obstacles. Obstacles are there to entangle life. But Jesus gives us a remedy that if we have patience, we will be able to overcome these obstacles of life. Therefore, let's pray that we have patience in life. The third point of reflection, passion. My dear brothers and sisters, today we have the passion reading, beginning from the Passover meal till crucifixion and death of Jesus. And in all these areas or the movements, Jesus does not give up. He walks passionately towards the goal that he has set. Because Jesus had only one wish in his mind, that is to please his heavenly father and to do what is most important for him. And therefore, Jesus walks steadily and passionately. Today, we are also called to have such passion. We could see in the eye of Jesus the fire of passion. We could see in the spirit of Jesus the power of passion. We could see in the heart of Jesus the love and loyalty to his passion. We see in the walk of Jesus the passion of Jesus. In the hour of passion, Jesus had a passionate commitment towards God to walk steadily and firmly and joyfully because he has set his face towards Jerusalem. That, that was the focal point of his life. Today, we are also called to have the same passion of Jesus. Even in the midst of our passion, pains and sorrows, if we are passionate about our movement towards God, we will be able to walk towards with joy and happiness. Jesus, knowing the fact that he would be moving to a place where he will be crucified, where he will be put to death, yet he walks passionately. And that shows the spirit of Jesus, and that shows the power and the passion of Jesus. The passion that we have in our heart gives us a reason to live, to move, and to have our being on earth. Yes, my dear brothers and sisters. Today, on this Palm Sunday, Jesus teaches us to walk perseveringly, to walk patiently, and to walk passionately. Yes, when we rely on God with perseverance, with patience, and with passion, God will give us the strength. May God bless all of us to walk perseveringly, to walk patiently, and to walk passionately. Amen.